Cookies with paint. paint. I'm Kathleen. And I'm Elizabeth. And today we are going to make some cake pops. So we have most of our ingredients, but we're missing a few key things. So we're gonna go take a quick field trip. All right, so we got our main ingredients, which includes our classic yellow cake mix, some meltable candy chocolates, and the pop sticks. <laughs> so pop sticks. Let, let, let's get started. This is what we're following. <laughs> All right, so I have my butter melted. Or softened at least. Softened. All right, so we're adding our cake mix, which is the whole bag. Okay, one cup of water. All right, so we have one, two, three large eggs. Okay, so I greased both of our rounds and now we're going to put the cake, um, cake batter in the pans in the oven for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna pop these in the oven and then we're gonna take them out and go from there. is baking we're going to put together the icing that this is going to be the bonding agent to make the little cake pops <laughs> half a stick of butter half a teaspoon of um, vanilla vanilla <laughs> yeah thanks whoa okay, go just... ahead go ahead it's just gonna be super vanilla no i'm just putting a little bit more there and then half a pound of sugar powdered, powdered sugar, sugar. And then mix it all together. Next step is to crumble them in crumble them in here and add an icing to make the cake ball it formula. Should, it should be the consistency of cookie dough. Don't put all your icing in at once. Put it in like we. I don't think we'll need a lot because we have a really moist cake. <sighs> I don't like that um, word. Also, make sure you do leave some because you have to dip your. Um, you just need it. We'll go through that later. Okay, ready? Okay, we have this gonna scoop it, press it against the side, all right? I'm just kind of pressing that in there, and then this is kind of so it roughly gets the shape, and then they're all the same size. Yeah. Okay, so we have finished balling up our cake pop. Now we're gonna try doing the sticks. I'm just gonna try real fast. I might, I think I'm actually gonna hold the ball while I put it in, because it's so, I know it's just gonna crumble. So I'm taking my stick, I am, I dipped it, now I have this, and now I'm just gonna Plug it in. All right. Beautiful. Alrighty, we finished the cake pops. They are now ready to go in the freezer so the icing on the little sticks can harden a little bit and then we'll take them out and do the whole chocolate thing. Let's do that. So now we're on to melting our chocolate because it has been about 25-ish minutes and the cake pops have been in the freezer so by the time this is done, they should be pretty hard. How we're gonna do um, our melted candy chocolates. Open them, put it in a microwave, safe bowl, people. <laughs> We've added the extras. It looks like it's gonna be pretty much melted. It yeah, can't melt it, itself. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to do some experimenting here on how the best 
probably best to dry, um, but let's get going before like the chocolate does something funny. I'm really impressed at how fast the chocolate dried and that was super awesome because you just quickly switch them out and I like kind of how we like how our whole process kind of went it was really smooth we kind of ran out of um, the candy melts, so we just used the icing from earlier it obviously doesn't look as nice but you know it gets uh, the job done and you can see the nicer ones versus the ones where we had like manually scoop on the icing do you want to try one I do all right cheers Pink. these are super good I have a really thick shell in mine. Just our whole process went really smoothly. I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Have a fabulous day. Bye. Bye.